Stay savage, stay savage. How you guys doing? It's been a while, you know. We got some heat. We got some shit going on. And my lights on, you know what I'm saying? I need to shave. I look like shit, like always, but that's no here, no there. I need better lighting, of course. Anyways, today we got a new Boruto episode. The Boruto episode came through looking like some heat. Like, it was really looking fire. Like, it made me think of, like, Naruto and them back when it was fighting against, like, Kaguya and shit. When it was first getting the powers that they got. And the fact that, like, everybody showed up at the same token. So today, we're going to be talking about what happened in the fucking episode. So if you have your personal thoughts, your personal opinions, and what you got to share about the episode, what you liked about it, you know what I'm saying? Put that in the comment section down below. I will also be putting a did you know in the comment section talking about like some Naruto trivia seeing how many people know the answers to like, certain questions and shit like that so I'll ask you a question in the comments and basically what you do is reply to it you know people who get the answer right I'll like leave a like or leave a heart next to your comment and shit like that so now continue on let's get it whipping all this double bit of trap we forgot you bitches at the trap I can't trust you all can't get you real address Trust you all can't get you in a dress It don't mean that be like Jerry Stagger I might fall in love with my trap house Alright, so yeah, I noticed that I was kind of bluish and shit, so I kind of changed the colors up, but it's not, it's really hard, my chair is blue, my shirt is blue, it's like I'm kind of fucked either way it go, so it's like I'm in the spectrum. So, let's talk about today's episode, today's episode was really crucial, like it was one of those episodes where you can honestly sit back and you can enjoy yourself, and you can like, feel it, like, this is the classic Naruto shit that I've been watching, you know, growing up, you know, and I'm honestly gonna say, so far the guy that hasn't disappointed, you know, things have escalated in a more serious way, There's there's also other things going on in the Boruto manga right now like there's a lot of different things going on with Boruto that's really like putting out some interesting content like you know if you guys have been reading the manga you guys know there's a lot of little new stuff going on with Boruto and then we, we got the guide in here for the people who haven't read the manga and shit like that people aren't caught up to date and people don't know that's what's going on you know they're getting their first glimpse of what's going on in the guide you know they're getting their glimpses of what happened already you know they're going to get their steps into the future so they'll be caught up soon but maybe not as soon as we will be but like still like two major things are happening in Boruto right now and it's really really dope so you guys should expect another video later on talking about the manga but like let's talk about like this episode we're gonna talk about how naruto sasuke sarada was all linked up with chocho it was really dope to see like sasuke interact with his daughter you know i was like all right but at the same token it was like he was like a real asshole like sasuke was like a complete dick like he was just straightforward an asshole to his daughter he, he was just like you know he was a sasuke to her like it was fucked up but it was just like that's how he treats soccer too so at the same token it was just like god damn you don't see your child for this whole period of time right and then like when she finally walks up to you she speaks to you she says how you doing you know she's talking to you you know she's she's actually where have you been this whole entire time you tell her it has nothing to do with you and that right there just like shatters her whole existence and her whole thought of you like she she doesn't know anything about you because her your mom her mom doesn't say anything you know sakura she's weird sakura's a fucking like i she's a whole nother she's a whole nother story she's just like strange you know sakura hasn't said anything and you know you've been blacklisted throughout the, the like the ninja world everybody looks at you as a criminal and shit like that you're like an outlaw and shit like that but you you know naruto pulled through with favors and shit like that you know people were really afraid of the name sasuke so i guess she she didn't really want to tell it to Sarada, you know, and but at the same token, like he could have like came spoke to her at least once or twice. It, it's just it's like this man Sasuke has proven to be such a savage. It's ridiculous, you know. Even when they first inter like introduced each other to like introduced herself to him, she pulled he pulled out the sword on her, you know. He was like actually in the midst of stabbing his blood, like the chick that he created, the child that he brought into the world. He was just about to just take it out until she said that, you know. The shit was like wow. This man Sasuke is on some super straight edge shit. Like he's really <laughs> edgy as fuck. Um, let's talk about what happened with the fight and shit with Shin. That was that was a pretty little interesting point. Like as that shit started building up, I was really like involved in it. Like I was really like like captivated by what was happening. You know what I'm saying? And it's been a long time since I've been captivated by something named Boruto. You know, last time we got caught up, it was the New Way arc. You know, but like I don't know. This was this. I feel like this was like better. Than the new way arc like to me like just the way it looked you know we got to see naruto you know we got to see sasuke we got to see sakura we got to see those guys like you know put to forth their like ninjutsu and their fucking skills like we got to see the deadlock again well not really the summonings but like the this you know the signing you know what i'm saying you know the greatest ninja of their like age 
Like, we got to see that again. We got to see those on the field. We got, like, a glimpse of their powers. You know, Sasuke was doing star some combos with Shin. That shit was clean. Like, you can't tell me. Like, I always love to see, like, the fighting parts of Naruto and Boruto. Like, those are the some things that have been captivating me. And so far, Boruto has been doing a good job with the hand-to-hand -hand combat and shit like that. You know, all the way from the beginning when he was fighting against Konohamaru. Then he fought against Iwabi. Then, you know, they led up until this point. Like, we've been seeing really good hand-to-hand -hand combat. You know, they've been putting together the fighting scenes really well. I mean, we got to see Sasuke put into some action with as well as Naruto you, you know, using his powers and shit like that but at the same token they don't really use Naruto that much Naruto doesn't get to fight that much due to the fact that he's so strong already you know what I'm saying Naruto is more on like a support because he's so strong at this point already you know like if he gets involved in anything it's pretty much a given like he just protects the kids and shit like that I know if like the kids weren't really around you know he could cut loose and I, I guess that just kind of handicapped Naruto like we kind of got a glimpse of him uh it was really dope to see him you know utilizing the fucking Kurama's chakra like that you know you get to see him be his original self and like what made it was it what made it more interesting was when Shin actually like got to the point where as if he was doing something but necessarily, he really wasn't if you think about it. Because if you look at like what happened towards the end of that fight, which most people probably didn't pick up on, that I'm going to point out here is like right when Sakura came in and she punched Shin down, you know what I'm saying? She, she punched him down, you know, he's trying to revive the fucking Akatsuki. He on his own little kick. I don't know what's up with that guy. I'm more interested in like the old, the old heroes, you know, because he's kind of like not really important because he's taken out really early on. But. Shin gets jabbed by Sakura, you know what I'm saying? And then when Sakura does unite with Naruto and Sasuke, you know, they just sitting there chilling with shurikens in the back and fucking sword in my stomach and shit like that. And then Naruto is just like casually just there, you know, Sasuke pulls the fucking weapons out of his back and shit, you know, and then Naruto just pulls the sword out of his fucking stomach like it's nothing, like that bitch is engulfed into his back and you know and that bitch is held up and closed and then Sarada and them just looking like you guys you know and it's like that shit just heals like that it's like what the fuck you know what I'm saying it's one of those things where you have seen some OP characters put into play now and it's like love I love it like what the fuck have we been waiting on this whole entire time to see like these OGs put back into action we get to see them back at their old selves see them you know be uh like who we saw them evolve into at the end of Shippuden and that was really dope like I, I love seeing that you know uh just seeing like all of them put together in in their own little scenario really just made me just really like yeah, happy 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 like I don't even know what to say like happy maybe happy I was like excited you know I felt nostalgic, yes, that's the word I was looking for, I couldn't get it out, but I felt nostalgic, you know, it was just like, fuck, you know, like, that shit reminded me of my childhood, but like, they're old, they're like me now, like, the fuck, like, I really grew up with Naruto, like, to see that shit, but with, they're with their kids, I ain't got no fucking babies, pull out game, strong as a motherfucker, but, uh, you know, just to see them with their kids, and, you know, actually fighting and shit because we got to see boruto you know boruto you know he met up with sasuke in the future if you guys watch boruto movie obviously you know you saw you went to boruto for the storm games and then you know you got to see boruto with sasuke we got to see boruto with naruto you know boruto had his moment with them you know what i'm saying and then he did this thing with the new age and shit as well now we're gonna see Sa sarada's moment you know because at first we got to see boruto's side now we're gonna see Sarada's side, you know, we're gonna see what's going on in Sarada's household and shit like that. And it's kind of dope to see, like, Sasuke and him again, you know, see them back united because it's gonna be another time period where we really won't see Sasuke for, like, a moment, you know what I'm saying? Like, Sasuke is gonna start eventually coming back to the village due to, like, what's gonna happen in the future due to the Boruto movie and how that, like, pans out. But that's gonna be way in, like, another, like, couple of episodes. Like, we're gonna be a ways off, you know, because you gotta think about it. When this fucking... Horror to the movie chapter ties into the actual anime. We got a, we got a lot of shit to wait on. Like it's it's gonna be a bunch of catch up because a lot of us already watched the Boruto movie. We already read the manga, so we know how it like replays and shit like that. And then like there's a lot of filler in the manga as well. And like I call it filler, but it's actual like shit. It's important. It's canon, but I just call it filler because it's like this is moments where they're just talking. You know, there's moments where energy and them are just talking. Like you know, there's just on some shit around the village for like a couple of chapters. So uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how like the developments of Boruto pan out. I really, really praised them on this episode. Like I enjoyed this episode a lot. I'm not even gonna flex. Like I can't even just sit there and say it was bad. You know, a lot of people might have their own personal opinions on it, but I really just enjoyed this episode. You know, uh, it was funny to see Sakura 
get trapped at the end. Like, watching Sakura get trapped at the end, I was just like, God damn. I was like, please, do it now. Kill that bitch. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie. I was just like that. But I ain't gonna lie. I can't even stunt on Sakura. It was really dope to see Sakura perform in this episode, you know, and she showed, like, how she snuck out and how quick she got to where it was at. You know, that's insane. Like, her speed was really dope just to see how she got from the Leaf Village to where they were at to, you know, hold a uh, information meeting and shit like that. And she pulled up, you know, knowing, like, something went down. Like, she was, she was really, like, quick. Like, she was swift. And then when she came in there, she did her thing. Like, I give her props for that. But, like, you know, if, if my boy Shin decides to, like, slip the wrist or slip the throat, you know, she could go. But, like, they're not going to do it. You know, they're obviously not going to put that in Naruto. Uh, not for Sakura anyways, because she's been there from the beginning. She's part of, like, the original main cast. If they touch any one of those people, it, they would have to be, like, super late on towards the ending of, like, the whole franchise. They would have to end that shit completely. Because that shit wouldn't make sense afterwards if you was to kill, like, somebody from the Big 3 of, Like, in the Big 3, I don't mean in the anime sense. I'm talking about the big three as in Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke. They are, those are the big three for the show. Like, if they was to kill off Kakashi, you know, that's so be it. Kakashi's dead, you know, we would have to be grieved. We would hurt for it. But, like, it wouldn't be one of those things where they killed off Naruto, Sakura, or Sasuke. Like, if somebody kills one of those people, like, that's, like, the end of the franchise for a lot of people. Because they, those characters become their favorite, your favorite characters. But we're going to see what's going to happen in the future of it and shit like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Make sure you hit that like button. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, you know, subscribe for daily content, uh, almost daily anyways, <laughs> and until next time, see you guys later.